Humans are on an everlasting quest to live longer, healthier and better. We try to optimize our bodies, outside and in. One of the tools we've been using along the way is gold. Gold's ability to transform the human body was theorized about for centuries. And the potential is proving to be even beyond what we'd hoped. This is the story of gold's role in transforming life. One of the most glorious things about science is how simple elements can have wildly different effects depending on their environment. Sometimes it seems like magic, except it isn't magic, it's chemistry. And nothing tells that story better than the age-old relationship between gold and the human body. To understand the impacts that gold has had on medicine, let's revisit the early pioneers who dared to experiment with gold the alchemists. Alchemy is an ancient practice concerned with transforming regular metals into gold. They never managed to create gold, but alchemists were responsible for new alloys, for acids and pigments, important processes like distillation, and some of the building blocks for modern chemistry. For thousands of years, we experimented with mystical little specks that had strange properties. In 1850, British scientist Michael Faraday accidentally discovered what they were when he observed colloidal gold suspended in liquid, or gold nanoparticles. Faraday's work helped to formalize our understanding of what gold nanoparticles are, tiny little specks of gold that are invisible to the human eye, that have significantly different chemical and physical properties to the gold that's big enough to hold in your hand. His work sparked even more curiosity into what gold nanoparticles can do for the body. And that interest has only continued to grow. The human body actually works on a nanoscale. If you look at things like nucleic acids, DNA, RNA, they are all nanometer in size. So it actually makes sense why you engineered these particles to perturb the nanoscale behavior that's occurring in the body. We're interested in gold for multiple reasons. The first reason is that we can actually make gold particles at the nanometer size pretty easily. And what's really cool is that the ingredients you add to making gold nanoparticles allows you to change the size with high precision. You can also change the shape by adding different ingredients as well. So you can actually attach a lot of different kind of agents onto the surface. This is a, a solution of gold nanoparticles that we made in uh, my research lab. And they're single gold nanoparticles because you can see the beautiful ruby color. When the gold nanoparticles starts to cluster together, it changes to a blue color. So what we do now is exploit these particular properties to diagnose diseases. The biggest seller of gold nanoparticle diagnostics is the pregnancy test. The gold nanoparticle is the reason you see a red line on the test line. The way this works with COVID is that once they found out what proteins the COVID induces, you conjugate and coat it on the surface of gold particle, and it goes through the same process as the pregnancy test. My lab and a number of other labs, we work on developing nanotechnology specifically for cancer and infectious diseases. One of the problems of chemotherapy is that the way we look at it is that we're essentially injecting a poison into the body. And you're just hoping that the poison kills the tumor better than the healthy tissues. And so what gold nanoparticles can do is that you can actually place a chemotherapy on the surface of the particle. You can actually protect the drug so that it actually doesn't get exposed to the healthy tissues and they can bind to cells that are sick and then you can release the drug and kill it at that particular point. You have potentially less side effects and a more effective treatment. I think the future of gold nanoparticles is extremely bright. And I think we're just at the starting point because we know how to make it, we know the properties. Now it's up to imaginations how to apply it to different types of applications. New medical advancements are being spurred on by gold nanoparticles all the time. They're being used to try to correct color blindness, to deliver vaccines and even sniff out disease. It's not just at the nanoscale that gold is at the cutting edge of modern medicine. 
If you consider the way that healthcare is delivered now, it's pretty episodic. You get a lot of detailed measurements of health characteristics when you present yourself to the hospital, typically when you're sick. But I think it'll be much more powerful for physicians to have access to continuous streams of data collected during the course of natural daily activities. I'm using my expertise in material science to develop completely new classes of electronics that interface with the skin. We don't want the patients to even realize that they have a device on their body. This is uh, one of our e-skin devices. So you can see it's very thin, very skin-like. Uh, you can see the gold traces in those sort of springy serpentine type geometries. We use source gold that's extremely pure, like 99.9999% gold. We melt that gold down into a crucible that allows us to, at very high temperatures, evaporate the gold so it merges in a gaseous state such that it can condense on the surface of the substrate where we'd like to deposit that gold. And with that kind of process, we can create extremely thin films of gold. The gold layers that we're depositing are approximately one one thousandth the diameter of a human hair. There are a number of features of gold that really make it extremely well matched to the kinds of characteristics that we need in these device platforms. It needs to carry current. It needs to conduct heat effectively. It needs to have the kind of mechanical properties we need. Gold is really great because of its ductility, and it needs to be biocompatible. I feel like most people think of gold as an expensive material, and I guess at some level it is, but the way that we use gold is in the form of very, very thin films. So the total materials cost associated with gold is a very small fraction of the overall cost of the device. So it's really designed to provide quality healthcare data for all people, not just high-end hospitals here in the US or Europe, but really deployable at scale anywhere across the globe. The powers of gold were imagined by our early thinkers. Today, gold is delivering on some of our most imaginative hopes for modern medicine. Gold has an incredible capacity to transform, whether it's our bodies, our culture, the environment, or space travel. It's something we learned really early in civilization and something we still know now. All around the world, gold keeps playing the same role in our innovations and advancements.